What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to look at Tune Tracks Easy Mix 2. Now, we've checked out Easy Bass, Easy Keys, Superior Drummer, so now it's only right that we get into the mix of everything or the effects plug-in of everything. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel. Now, you know I'm a big believer in the easy keys or the tune track line i think they're incredible all right so let's go ahead and check it out and to check it out we're going to start off with the keys first all right now as you know when you go into easy keys you can be uh you can pick a key that you want to be in i'm going to put i'm going to put it lower I'm put it like 92 and then from there, you know, you go ahead and add that, right? I've shown you how to add the chords and get to a chord progression by, you know. I'm going to change these up. So that's where we'll go with that one. So then from there you're going to highlight it merge these together and then of course i've taught you how to go to your user brow uh, browser for the midi and depending on what type of track you're trying to do whether it's funk fusion gospel hip-hop and r&b whatever the case may be you find your tempo and the part of the song you want to be around and it's going to change it up for you so it might be that And then you just drop that on in to something. Oh, wait, where you replace it and then you drop it on in to something like Heat Up or Omnisphere, Contact, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put the keys on this one. So we got the keys. Uh, and then. So we know how to do that. The next step would be, you might want to put it to a bass, right? And then we would just take that, take the MIDI and drop it in over here. And then it, re it should read that's the same, but you got to change the key. I, I keep forgetting you got to change that key up to D, D minor. All right. And it's going to copy the key, the, the chord progression over. And then from there, easy bass has grooves. You're going to add a groove. Oh, well, you're going to highlight this and then put grooves. And then it's hip hop. I mean, that goes along with soul and R&B. Plenty of grooves to go through, right? Then you pick one you like. Replace the MIDI. It goes down here, and then you can drop that in the bass. Oh, where you save the changes first. Then drop that in the bass, right? So if we want to take it a step further, we can do all that, but. So it follows along. We got a bass, we got a key, and then we're just gonna get a guitar for fun. And I'm going to mute these because it won't be in the same key because I'm just gonna get up some MIDI for the guitar just to show you easy mix, right? So let's go to Onyx and Guitar Trap Melody. We're just gonna throw that in the heat up 
and then we're going to get a guitar sound So we got all of that set up. Got a guitar, we got a bass, we got uh, a regular piano. And then we're gonna throw in a, a kick, a basic kick pattern. Let's mute that. And then we'll do that. All right, so then, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the kick, because you can mix your kick one by one. So I'm putting it on track, or. Uh, Mixer track one, then we're gonna go into easy mix, and then all you gotta do is type in kick. And put in the genre that you want. You can get uh, electronic kick. All these kits are gonna be a different mix. So let's hear how it sounds with by itself. That's how it sounds, and then once you put kick on there I put firm kick you'll see the compressor and all this start to change now let's hear how it sounds all right let's put evil kick on there and it tells you it's getting evilness weirdness you can turn it up the weirdness we'll take this clap off So you can start playing with it. You can turn up the evenness and all of that. If you want to get into it like an R&B, come down to the R&B mode. There's two of them. I like the uh, I like this one right here. And you can just mess with that. All right. Let's go to the next one, which was the keys. So we're gonna put that on track one. Take that off. All right, so now we're back on track one with just the keys. And you can do presets, favorites, and you can add more effects to these as you highlight them or if you go to the menu. All right. So let's put keys. Different piano keys are going to come up. Here's a stereo delay. You can hear a little slight today. Slap. Wet reverb. Let's go to a different genre. Let's go to blues. Has blues guitars. You could put a blues guitar effect on a piano. And they have uh, plenty of effects to choose from. Let's go to a bass that we did earlier. Is there, oh, I turned down uh, the easy bass, I'm sorry. Type in bass. There's nothing there. Go to EQ or chorus or whatever you're looking for. Amplifier. Pick the, the genre and watch it go. has different little amps that you can use some of them more uh, distinct than others mm -hmm. 
Let's go to hardcore. Psych psychedelic bass. And there's one for just drums, guitars, bass. There's all of that if you don't have anyone to pick. There's also vocals. You can put something on the vocals, keyboards, miscellaneous, and brass. So enjoy yourself, Easy Mix 2. I just wanted to introduce that into the world just in case I use it on a track. I want to be transparent. Like, oh, I'm using Easy Mix 2 or I'm not. But I like the tool. I think it's a good use. And uh, we shall see if you like it as well. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video upload to the channel. Also, go to hollywoodfloss.beatstars.com to shop with your boy. And until next time, peace. This was Easy Mix 2.